Hey everybody, Vicarious Viking here, along with Hopper Mod Paws, with another episode of Starbound Mod Outpost. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the Base in a Box mod by Piltenstein and Mad Tulip. And as you can sort of infer from the name, what this mod allows you to do is place these uh, little modules into the game world and then activate them and they build these rooms, sort of, right before your very eyes. This mod's been getting a lot of coverage on YouTube lately, and rightfully so, because it is a really cool mod, but it did just get an update, and it adds quite a few really awesome things to it, and I'm going to show them to you uh, pretty much right now. When you install the mod, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your robotic crafting table, and you will now be allowed to build something called the Science Station, and that's going to be 600 pixels and 20 titanium bars, and as you can see, it looks like a little science desk. Uh, I actually have one already crafted and placed down right here so i'm going to go ahead and open this up and this is your crafting station for all of your new base on a box content now as you can see it adds uh, quite a few things actually what we're going to focus on for the first half of this mod though is just these base in a box items here on the bottom and then the second half we're going to focus on these uh the building scanner and the building scanning marker uh, and you want to stay tuned for that because it's it is really really cool uh these are actually really cool as well the cost for these is anywhere between um like 400 to a thousand pixels to like 10 to 15 titanium bars i already have them all crafted up here and so what you want to do once you craft it you just go ahead and select it this is the kitchen one and you place it down wherever you want you probably want it to be on a flat area uh it doesn't have to be totally flat but there can't be anything in this area see where this blue line is scanning um otherwise if you try to activate it it will tell you that it is obstructed oh and it gives you you get this little red uh dot to let you know where it's obstructed at so there can't be anything there so let's just get out of the way and i'm gonna go ahead and activate this now and <laughs> kaboom it just builds it right before your very eyes which uh is totally awesome if you ask me so we got a fridge in here uh it doesn't come with any food we get this sweet nano stove which is just it works like any other uh like a campfire or anything like that and then we have our kitchen counter so uh that's that one. Let's go ahead and drop down another. Here we have the uh, the habitat, and uh, I will put this. Let's, can I get it right? Th I can get it right there. So let's put it right. It's gonna probably be floating in air. Uh, un oh unanchored. You know what? I didn't know that it had to be anchored. Okay. Well, this is actually good information for myself and for you guys as well. So I'm just gonna throw down some dirt here. I think that might be all that I needs to do. I think as long as it's anchored, like, on the edges. Yeah, okay, good. Cool, that worked. And bam, this is the habitat one, which as you can see gives you a sweet chair and a sweet bed. Let's go up here, we'll put the next one up here. This is the uh, the crafting one. Uh, let's put it right here. Uh, you know what, Never mind. that's a bad spot. These things can actually only ever face the right, so let's put it right here. There we go, and activate that, and there we go. And that's going to give us the uh, the stone furnace, the metal workstation, and the robotic crafting table. And the last one here, number nine, is called just simply the base in the box. And we're going to go ahead and put this one down and deploy it. And this gives us just the empty base in a box here. So you can kind of put whatever you want in here. There's a few other items you can craft. There's this laser furnace, and we're going to go ahead and put this in here. And this medical tank, which actually won't fit. So that's going to go on top. What this laser furnace allows you to do is it works like uh, pretty much the regular furnace, but it works more of a crafting table. So it everything has the exact same cost. Like for example, a steel bar still costs one iron and one coal, um, but instead of having to smelt them one at a time, you can I can just craft like 471 of them right now if I if I wanted to. Veolium bar, same thing. Um, glass blocks they just cost three sand as always. And then I could just craft 14 of them right now, instantly, if I wanted to. So it's a really cool take on the uh, on the original furnace. Uh, it's kind of noisy, though, as you can tell. And what we have up here is the medical tank. I featured a mod very recently on my As Seen on TV special. And uh, it was the regeneration chamber, and it looked exactly like this. This does pretty much the exact same thing. You just hop in, and it heals you way quicker than a bed. I wasn't very hurt, but as you can see, I'm totally healed now. So uh, basically that's what it does, it just heals you super fast, it's uh, it's really cool. The medical tank and the laser furnace, you can see the prices for them right here, they just call us a few uranium rods and a few agisalt bars, so there you go. And there's one more thing that's really cool with these building base in a box modules here, is you can place them in the air, and uh, what you want to do is 
if you move it about two away, that'll get it pretty much perfectly lined up. And now if you activate it, they can stack right on top of one another. So that's the first part of the mod. I think it's really cool for people who don't want to have to build an entire base every time they move to a new planet, but also, you know, don't want to live out of a spaceship like a bum. Not that you could be a bum if you're living out of a spaceship. Anyway, let's move on to part two. Okay, so for the second part of this mod, we're going to focus on the building scanner and the building scanning marker, both of which can be crafted for a few uranium rods and or added salt bars, respectively. What this is going to allow you to do is the building scanner will literally absorb any other building in the game world and then you could it gives you a little printer and you can use that printer to print this exact same building out um, anywhere else that you want as provided you have room for it. Um, it gets a little bit complicated here but I'm going to do my best to try to explain things uh, thoroughly without taking up too much of your time. So first things first, you're actually going to need a wiring tool for this jobby. Uh, they already exist in the game world. You can craft them here at a wiring station and you can see the cost here. A few gold, silver, copper bars, a laser diode and a circuit board and some titanium panels. The laser diode can be crafted here in the wiring station as well for just one steel bar and one glass block and the um, the circuit board can be crafted for one copper and a hundred pixels. That will give you everything you need for your your wiring tool. So they really don't cost that much to make. Um, if you don't have a wiring station, just to let you know, you can craft them here at the robotic crafting table for 20 steel bars and 20 titanium panels. Okay, so yeah, as long as you have your wiring tool, we are good to go. So this is the building here um, that we are going to scan and we are going to print it out elsewhere. I've already placed my, uh, what is it called? This is the building scanner. The other thing is a building scanning marker. So I've already placed the building scanner down on the ground right here and I've already placed my building scanning marker over here. This is somewhat in the wrong spot but I actually wanted to do this for a demonstration. This won't take anything above it. We're gonna lose a little bit of the roof but that doesn't matter. It's gonna take nothing directly below it but it will take everything else to the right and everything below that. Um, because we have our building scanner on the right. If we had our building scanner on the left it would take everything from its from its very left and below that. So uh, I have to wire it. So this is where you want to get your wiring tool out and you want to select the building scanner marker and we have it selected and we're going to walk over here with our wire and we're going to connect it to the red part of the building scanner. And once you have that it's wired up and you are actually ready to go. So before I activate the building scanner um, I just want to let you guys know see all of the um, it's going to take the whole building, but it's not going to take like the banana poster or the bed or uh, kind of any of the placeable objects. I won't take the doors either. So as you can see, uh, none of that stuff came with it, but the whole building is gone. The background is gone. The, uh, the platforms are gone. And as you can see, it didn't take the roof and it didn't take this wall that was directly below it. So we would have actually wanted to put it uh, kind of over and down one. Uh, we're going to do that now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to clear out this little area. You'll notice that, uh, it did give us right here the building printer, a device that will construct a building from its internal blueprint. So it now has the blueprint of this building that we just absorbed. And uh, if we put it right here, that should be, this is gonna put it exactly back where it was. So that's what I wanna do right now. And there we go, it reforms. How cool is that? That is cool. And you'll notice it's a nice, clean, brand new building. It doesn't have any of that stuff inside of it anymore, but I do, it did fall to the ground. I have all of it in my inventory now as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this. Is this bird going to attack me? No, nope, not if I fall down here. So I'm going to place another marker and this is kind of the ideal spot. This is where you would want to put it. So let's wire this back up here. Okay, there we go. It is connected. And we're going to once again connect it to the red part of the building scanner. And now that it is connected, I'm going to activate it. We're going to suck up this whole building once again bam she is gone we missed a little bit of the floor but we got it it was a two layer floor anyway so it doesn't really matter this could have gone down one more and that would have got it but not a big deal okay so we're gonna move over here i have a nice flat area and we are gonna rebuild this sucker okay so this looks like a good spot to put down our new uh our newly absorbed building so let's just throw this down and activate it and look at that there you go i have moved my base 
And that's how she works, guys. So once again, that is the Base in a Box mod by Piltenstein and Mad Tulip. Definitely a really cool mod. Um, the links to download it are in the description, and you should definitely go ahead and check it out. Guys, I'm just going to wrap it up for this episode of Starbound Mod Outpost. I want to thank you very much for watching. Um, if you like the video, leave a like. I love getting comments, and if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. So you can leave some comments in the comments section below. Share the video if you know anybody who would enjoy it. And as always, subscribe for more Starbound Mod Outpost videos. You guys have a great day, and I will see you later.